Hey guys, it's me, Lady Raven here. I hope you all are doing well today. Um, so I have a very special video for you guys today, and it is a puppy haul video, which you can probably already tell because it's in the title. Um, so yeah, so in about two to two and a half months, I will be bringing home my very own puppy. And I'm so excited because I really miss having a dog. So I have been watching nonstop puppy training videos and bring home my new puppy videos and puppy haul videos. And like, it's driving me crazy because I still have so long to wait, um, but I'm very excited. So I went ahead well in advance and went ahead and got a bunch of um, puppy supplies because I have nothing for dogs. I have cats, um, haven't had a dog in couple of years so I have nothing for a dog so I'm literally starting from scratch and I watched a bunch of puppy haul videos to kind of get ideas on what to get um so I've separated everything by store of where I bought it because we were um in a shutdown around the time I was ordering it most of it was all ordered online um now that the stores are opening back up you can actually go and buy them in the store now so that's good so just keep that in mind but most of the stuff i did buy online um and most of it ranges between the prices of five dollars to seven dollars and there are some things that went a little bit over that of course um but yeah hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started so the first store that I'm going to go over is the one that I bought the least amount from and that's going to be PetSmart. So I ordered some stuff online from PetSmart. The first thing I ordered was this. It is a Kong puppy chew toy and then you put the peanut butter or whatever inside of your treats and they play with it and they have to get it out. This was probably in like 99% of the puppy haul videos I've had um, that I've watched, not had, <laughs> that I watched um, and everybody really recommends it. Funny story about this though is I originally had ordered it from Chewy.com but I forgot to order it in large so it came in small. So I guess it really doesn't matter because he will be small once I get him when, when I first bring him home but I knew he wasn't going to stay small for very long so I wanted to make sure I got something that's going to last him through his um, teething stages. Second thing that I got from PetSmart which I actually just showed up today is this little hedgehog. The next thing I got from PetSmart is one of these Fate plush toys. Um, I've seen a lot of people with these and I just got this because it was a cute little husky puppy and also the money they make off these gets donated so I thought it was just something cute to buy. And then I also bought this it's um, Earth Bath that is the brand it's three in one deodorizing spritz and this is kind of what you do to kind of clean off your dog um you know in between baths so you're not having to bathe them all the time because you're not supposed to it's not good especially for puppies so this is the spritz that we got so that is all that i got from PetSmart. the next store i will go with is etsy um i got one thing off etsy i just got a collar and it looks like this it is like a navy blue puppy paw print collar. Um, and I got it from Kiki Couture uh, Fido Fashions. So it comes with like a little business card. Um, there's only like three left when I ordered this. So I don't, so if you're wanting a collar like this, you may not get this specific um, design. Last I checked, there was like one left, I think maybe. Um, but it was like my favorite pattern that I saw on there. And it's the color I got him from Etsy. And I will link or try to link everything that I got here. That way, if you see something that you'd like that you want to get for your dog, or maybe you're getting a puppy and you want to get the same item, um, I'll put the link in the description down below. The next store that I'm going to go over is Chewy. Since I already showed you this. So um, I got a bunch of things from Chewy. So the first thing I got from Chewy outside of the little Kong toy was this. It's just a chewing, chewing clean. It's a tough bone, so it's good for their teeth. Um, has like these little, this texture on it that helps clean their teeth and it's good and durable, but this is probably not gonna be good for him until he's a little bit older, um, cause it's kind of tough, but it is bacon flavor. So I'm sure that he'll love it. Another thing I got from Chewy is this. I'm pretty sure this was like on every single puppy haul list I saw. It's a puppy starter kit. So of course they start here 
and then they go to this and then this is just like um it says natural with added vitamins and minerals healthy edibles is what it says so they start with this one and then they move up to this one this is going to be good for when he's chewing uh when he's chewing when he's teething so this was like six bucks i think from chewy the next thing i got was this now this was probably one of the more expensive things i got this was probably like 11 or 12 dollars on chewy and this is just two different chew toys i saw a lot of them that were separate like so there was designs like this one and um chew toys like this one that were sold separately and were a lot bigger but this is specifically for puppies um they are bacon flavor and they're good dental chews it says so this is going to be really really good to clean keep the, the puppy's teeth clean and just give him something else to chew on speaking of dental <clears throat> so i did get this this is the Veerback or Vibrac, I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's a toothbrush, toothpaste, and one of the finger toothbrushes that, that I guess you use to get your dog used to a toothbrush. I don't know. The next thing I got from Chewy is um, Earth Bath, same brand as the Spritz Spray stuff, um, is ear wipes. There is 25 soft wipes. This was like $3, I think, $3 or $4. So it was really cheap. The next thing I got from Chewy is this could have got this at any store <laughs> um so keep that in mind you don't have to get this specifically from like a pet store you can get this from kroger's or target or pretty much any regular store um i don't know if you have a kroger where you are kroger's walmart those are my lo local stores target you can get those anywhere um but i went and ordered it while i was ordering all this other stuff so i got the out brand i got the out brand because it had better ratings than the nature's miracle now i know that every other puppy haul that i watch mostly had the nature's miracle stuff and they said it's great it works wonderful but when i actually went on the websites and this includes um amazon chewy and petco and i believe PetSmart too they did not have as good ratings as i thought they were it was going to have like this had a better ratings than the nature's miracle so i'm going to test this one out this one's a lot cheaper than the nature's miracle and we'll see if this works great if it doesn't then maybe i'll try the nature's miracle but i went ahead and went with this because i've already spent a lot of money on this dog and it's not even here yet so next thing i got from chewy is just some burt's bees tearless shampoo um i think people have mixed opinions on this i just wanted something that's going to be natural that's not going to be heavy on scent um just going to be really gentle for the puppy and i love burt's bees brand so we'll see how this one goes next thing that i got for my dog is this little treat tote um i got this it clips onto your belt and this is going to be good for when we start training the puppy um instead of having to carry around a big bag of treats i can just put some treats in here and we can go outside and train or be in the house and train it's just a nice little compact case to put all of your treats the next thing i got from chewy is this little i love pet head like the bed head for humans but it's I Love Pet Head. It's oatmeal palm butter. So this is good for um, the paw pads for your dog to make sure they don't dry out and crack or bleed or anything like that. There's good reviews for this. Apparently it smells really good. So, all right, the next couple things I'm gonna show you that I got from Chewy is just the rest are gonna be toys that I got. So the first one is this um, purple hippo. It's like a different kind of texture, if you can see. Um, excuse me. I'm not going to squeeze them, but this does have a big old ball, like squ squeaky ball in it. Um, I, and there's one, I think, in the head, too. I think he has a, yeah, he has a squeaker in the head and then this big, big one in his body. So just a little purple hippo. The next one is this elephant. It has, like, the crinklies and the legs. And then it's, like, a diff once again, it's a different texture. So I was trying to get the dog um i'm trying to get the puppy a lot of different textures so we can see what he likes and what he doesn't like so but i like the crinkles maybe we can do asmr <laughs> next thing i got him was this hedgehog i have a thing for hedgehogs so i think they're so cute the toys at least um this is a one two three four five six wait one two three four five six seven yeah seven squeakers there's six squeakers in the body and there's another one in the head and 
I don't know, it was just a weird kind of different kind of toy. So I thought it was cute. So I went ahead and got it for him. We'll see how that goes. The next thing I got is this rope toy. Now I'm not a huge fan of rope toys because they like they um they tear up really easily and a lot of these little strings come off. Um and you'll find them in your dog's poop. My other dog that I used to have um used to tear his rope toys up to pieces and you'd find pieces in his poop. And I don't think that's very healthy, so um, which you should always watch your dog when they're with toys, even these kind of toys, because you don't want them to chew them up and swallow the squeaker and choke on it or, you know, things like that. So, so I only got on one rope to toy and this is actually pretty big. This was only like $2, I think, $2 on Chewy. Um, but it's got this big squeaky rubbery part in the center and then two little ropes at the, at the bottom on, well, on both sides. So I thought it was cute. It was cheap and... It's a different kind of toy than what I did get him. The next toy I got him is just this fox. It's just a squeaker fox. Um, it was like on sale for like five bucks. So I went ahead and got it. I just thought it was so cute. And I love foxes, so. And then I also got him this, which was I think also on sale for like $5 on Chewy. Um, it's just one of the flat toys. I thought it was really cute. Um, it has squeaker here and squeaker here and then two here. So I think there's like four squeakers in here and it's really pretty actually it's a really pretty toy but i like unicorns you know that's that's what happens speaking of unicorns i got this toy <laughs> i think these ones were on sale for like five dollars too when i first saw these like in the picture they're like listed like this i think or maybe it's like this i don't know but this is how the picture looks and it looks like the flat the flat toys like that don't have i they might have a squeaker on the tail or whatever, but they're like flat and there's no stuffing in them. I thought that's what these were, but these are not. These do have stuffing in them and then these really long, fat, like squeakers in them. So they were not what I thought they were. I should have read a description on these. I just saw them and automatically added them to my cart because I thought they were like the flat ones and I thought they were really cute. But they tur turns out they are not. They have fluffy in them, but that's okay. Um, I'm sure the dog will love it either way. So yeah, so a skunk and a unicorn. The next thing I'm gonna go over is the things that I got from Amazon. Um, I only got four things, I think, maybe five. So first thing I'm gonna show you so I can start putting some of the stuff back in it is the toy bin. So this was like $11 from Amazon. If you see me looking up, I'm just looking at my screen to make sure you guys are getting a good view of this stuff. Um, but yeah. So just a little toy box, toy bin for all his toys to go in to keep him up by the floor when he's not using it. It was like 11 bucks. Really cute. And there's a bunch of different designs. The next thing I got was this. So this is a slicker brush. So it comes with a slicker brush. Like if you push it in and it clicks, there you go. And then it keeps the bristles out. So this is a slicker brush. And then you just push it again and they go back in and you can get all the fur off. So this came with the slicker brush and this little pouch. Slicker brush. This little comb thing that can get into like the paw areas where the brush doesn't really fit and get that undercoat. And then it also came with some nail trimmers. Um, they're kind of small, so I'll probably have to obviously upgrade to a bigger pair once he gets bigger, but they'll do for now as a puppy. The other thing I got was this, which is a D shedder brush. And I watched a lot of dog videos and they said that you should always have the slicker brush and the D shedder brush and then the little comb thing. And that's if you have, um, a dog that has an undercoat, like a dense undercoat. So that might give you a little bit of a hint of what type of dog I might be getting. So I picked this one out and this was once again from Amazon. This, all, all these things that I just showed you are from Amazon. This is the leather dog leash for walking and training dogs. And it comes in this nice box. And if you open it up, it also came with a poop bag holder with some poop bags in there. And then this is the leash. And it does have a second handle. So you have the one that you hold, obviously, and then you have one that's closer to the dog um, for better control. Like if you're crossing the street and you want to hold on to them, make sure they don't run out. So it ha does have double handles and it smells wonderful. Like when you open the box, it's just, 
smells like beautiful leather <laughs> and it was about 25 26 dollars so it was a little bit on the more pricier side but i knew i wanted a leather leash this will last me till the time that he's an adult i don't gotta worry about like changing out and it is six feet it's six feet long so the last thing that i got from amazon is a harness um it is a it's a medium sized harness but it's a like a no pull harness that comes with this little strap the little hoopy for your leash to attach to and then it just goes around the dog's chest and his body so this is a medium size i don't know if it's really going to fit him once we first bring him home but he will grow into it pretty quickly and then we'll end up having to change that out again when, once it gets bigger all right, the next thing I want to go over is the things that I got from Petco. Um, it was only three things. Um, it was this little dog blanket. It's just a, you can probably just use like regular baby blankets, which I've seen other people get. They just get like soft baby blankets for their dogs. But this was only like $5 on Petco. So I went ahead and got it. It's pretty cheap and it was just a cute little gray blanket. So I got this from Petco. I saw this on there and it was a calm cozy just a little alligator and i thought it was so cute and it was like for five dollars it was on sale for five dollars and so i went ahead and got this so it's just a little squeaky fluffy alligator i think he squeaks yeah he's a squeaker in his butt squeaker butt um but yeah so i thought that was cute and then the biggest thing that i got this was probably 20 bucks this is his dog bed oh it's uh like a blue like a bluish grayish color and then beige i guess white i don't know and then it's really soft and really comfortable and this had amazing reviews on petco it was like literally 20 it was on sale for 20 bucks i don't know if that was regular price or not i'm pretty sure it was on sale for 20. so that'll be good and it's pretty big it'll be good for him for at least the first couple of months that he's with me next thing that we're going to go over the thing is the last store that i got anything from and that is marshall's so the first thing that I got from Marshalls was this. Um, just little squeaker balls, like the tennis balls. They did have the Kong ones, but they're a lot smaller. And um, my puppy's gonna be small, but he's not gonna be that small. So when I got these, they squeak. There's a yellow, blue, orange, red, as you can tell. Just little squeaker tennis balls. The next thing I got, which I really love, are the green bone um, doggy bag holders that clips onto your leash. And then this is a 10 rolls up and there are 120 bags here. So 120 in here. And then there is, I think 24, yeah, 24 and 24 bags in this one. And I got this before I realized that my leash was coming with its own little poop bag holder. But this was from Marshall's. This was $2.99 and this was $4.99. The next thing I got are these all natural pet wipes. Um, and this is just like to wipe off his paws or, you know, wipe off his face if you get something on him. This is just to keep him clean so I don't have to like worry about bathing him. If he gets a little bit of dirt on him, mud, uh, I think it's good for like dandruff and stuff. It says no parabens, no dye, and no alcohol. So they're supposed to be really good, really safe for your dog. It, it is vanilla scented with aloe and vitamin E. So... I just thought it was cute because it says cleanliness is next to dogliness. I thought that was cute. So alcohol free, a bunch of them in here. There's 120 wipes here. So, and it comes in this really cute wrapper with all these little dogs on it. And I got this from Marshalls, obviously. Oh, this is from Marshalls. I already said that like a hundred times, so my bad. But yeah, pet wipes. The next thing I got was these two little um, traveling bowls. So they all come with a clip. This one does too, but my daughter, once again, got into my dog stuff and ripped some stuff. So they come like this and they were $4.50 a piece, which is not bad because most of them that I saw online, even for the smaller ones, were like seven to $8 a piece and they were small. These ones are the big bowls. So, and then they got these cute little dog prints on the back, if you can see that. A dog print design and just smash them back up there so I got two so one for water and one for food so since my dog is going to be a large breed dog I wanted the 
folds to be a little bit elevated so i got this so it's still not too too elevated we might end up getting something else that stands a little bit taller but for now i think this will do that way he can still eat out of it as a puppy but also it helps once he gets older so he's not bending down so far to eat and they're just stainless steel bowls little paw prints in the inside and these bowls do come out so you can take them out just lay them on the floor if you want the other thing i got for marshall's is this now i grabbed this and picked this out before i actually decided to get those bowls so i wanted to make sure we had something to put his bowls on to keep water and food off the off the floor and i just thought it was really cute all right and then the last thing that i got from marshall's is these two towels once again gray <laughs> i love gray um just two little dog towels they were like six bucks each 5.99 yeah 5.99 so six bucks each just cute little doggy print designs and this one's more soft than this one but two different textures two different styles and i thought they're really cute all right guys well i hope you guys liked the video and if you did please go ahead and hit subscribe um if you guys have any questions regarding anything that i got any of that whatsoever just go ahead and leave it in the comments below or if you have any recommendations for me on getting a new puppy things to get for the puppy brands of dog food shampoo anything like that i'd really appreciate it so yeah go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then click the notification bell so you never miss a video and i will see you guys in the next one bye bye my lovelies bye bye